This is R.D. Sharma Solutions, Class 11, Chapter 23. The straight lines exercise is 23.6. Now, this is question number 9. Find the equation of the line which passes through P point 1 comma minus 7 and meets the axis at A and B respectively so that 4AP minus 3BP equals 0. So the situation is like this. This is just for your understanding. Now this line can be anywhere just to understand. So this is A point. It is A comma 0 and x by A, y by B, we are taking equation of the line with intercept A and B. This point will be 0 comma B. So this is point B. Now the, the condition is there is a point P which is 1 comma minus 7. 1 minus 7 will never come here. This is just for understanding. Now the situation is 4AP minus 3AB equals 0 which means 4AP equals 3BP which means AP by BP equals 3 by 4. So we have AP. AP is uh, this one 3 and BP uh, the PB is 4. So there is a line 0B and A0. Always start with the x-axis so from A0. Whenever there is a ratio, we have to take 3 from the x-axis. So 3 is to 4. Now we have to find x. It will be, you know the formula mx2 plus nx1 by m plus n. So 3 into 0 plus 4 into a by 4 plus 3. Now this is mx2 plus nx1 by m plus n. This is your x point. Coming to y, my2 plus ny1 by m plus n. So this is x1, y1, x2, y2. x1, y1, x1, y2. y point, what will be the y point? It will be 3 into b, m is this, m is 3 and n is 4. 3 into b plus 4 into 0 by m plus n, 3, 4 plus 3, 4 plus 3. So this uh, becomes, what is this? x point is 1 and what is the y point? It is minus 7. So this is 3 into 0, that is 0, 4a, 4a by 7, 4a by 7 is 1. a will be equal to 7 by 4. Here this will be 0, 3b by 7 minus equals minus 7. So y, b will be minus 49 by 3, 7, 7 is 49. So now b is there. Now put just in the original equation, x by 7 by 4 and then plus y by minus 49 by 3, this equals 1. And this equals, this goes up 4x by 7 minus 3 by, minus I am taking up, minus 3y by, by 49 equals 1. And just multiply both sides by 49 because 49 will be the LCM. And what do you get? 7, 7, 7 is 49, 7, 4 is 28, 28x minus 3y equals 49, 28x. 49, 49 will get cancelled out. Every, every member you have to multiply by 49. So 28x minus 3y equals 49. This is 49. So this is the equation. This is question number 10. And this is a NCERT question. NCERT question. Question number 10 is saying, find the equation of the line passing through the point 2 comma 2 and cutting off intercept on the axis whose sum is 9. Sum of the intercepts are 9. So if you assume the equation of the line with intercept a and b is x by a plus y by b equals 1. So a is here, x intercept, b is this y intercept. The sum of a and b, a plus b, a and b sum is given as 9. So b can be written as a 9 minus a or you can write a as b minus 9, it doesn't matter whichever way you like. So x by a plus y by 9 minus a equals 1. Now there is one more thing given. The line is passing through 2 comma 2. So here assume it is, it is 2 2. So now it is passing through 2 2. So just putting x and y as 2 2. 2 by a plus 2 by 9 minus a equals 1. Now there will be a quadratic equation. I hope you will be able to solve it. a will come as 3 and 6. 
there will be two roots 3 and 6 a is 3 so b will be 9 minus 9 minus 3 that is 6 a is 6 b equals 9 minus 6 that is 3 here a and b is there now x by a that is x by 3 and y by b y by 6 equals 1 so x by now in this there will be a second equation x by 6 plus y by 3 equals 1 so multiply both sides by 3 to the 6 multiply by 6 ok all member by 6 so you get 2x plus y equals 6 and here also you get 6x plus 2y equals 6 these are the two equations we are going to get this is question number 11 this is also a NCERT question we have to uh, find out what that is a point R HK divides the line segment between the axis in the ratio 1 is to 2 and cutting off intercept on the axis whose sum is 9 so we assume equation of the line with intercept a and b x by a plus y by b equals 1 the excess intercept point is a comma 0 the y will be 0 comma b there is a point HK somewhere here it divides the line into 1 is to 2 so always start from the x axis it will be 1 and the other part will be 2 so m you are going to take as 1 and you are going to take a 2 in the a and 0 you are going to take x1 y1 0 and b you are going to take x2 y2 right so i am just using the direct formula we have already earlier seen it this is 1 into 0 plus 2 into a by 3 m plus n so this is 2a by 3 equals x so a you are going to get 3x by 3x by 3x by 2 but the thing is this x point is actually h so 2a is 3h a will be 3h by 2 now coming to y if you see y that is k k will be 1 into b plus 2 into 0 that is 2 into 0 by m plus n 3 and again this will go b by 3 and as I said y is equal to k so b equals 3k b equals 3k now a and b are known to us now now put it here x by a which is 3h by 2 y by b that is b by y by 3k equals 1 now take this up up in the numerator it will be 2x by 3h equals y by 3k equals 1 now multiply all of these by 3hk better is to multiply by 3hk because we whenever we multiply that means we want to get rid of the denominator so you multiply 3x by 3h by 3hk so 2x by 3h into 3hk will be what 3h 3h get cancelled you get 2x by k so you have 2x by k because 3h 3h gets cancelled so it is 2kx actually so 3h into let me tell you again 3hk 3h 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 gets cancelled 2xk 2xk it will be 2x and then we'll be multiplying y by 3k into 3kh so 3k 3k gets cancelled you get 3y h into y that would be on the right hand side it will be 3hk take it on the left hand side it will be minus 3hk so that is going to be minus 3hk equals 0 this is the result this is question number 12 find the equation of the straight line which passes through the point p 2 comma 6 and the cuts the coordinate axis at the point a and b respectively so that a p by b p equals 2 by 3 all this type of questions we have done earlier also so the case is there is a line and there is a point and this is a b and this is p and a p is to p b is 2 is to 3 m you are going to take as 2 n as 3 now this is a comma 0 x1 y1 we are going to take this is 0 comma b you are going to take it as x2 y2 now we have this point p and this is given as 2 comma 6 so it is 2 it will be 2 into 0 plus 3 into a by 2 plus 3 this is here what will be 6 it will be 
2 into b plus 3 into 0 by 2 plus 3 that is 5. So what do you get? 3a equals 10, 2b equals 30, a will be 10 by 3, b will be 15. Now put it in the place of a and b and when we resolve it, 3 will go up. It is 3x by 10 plus y by 15, y by 15 equals 1 and multiply both sides by say 15. Just multiply by 15 or no, you want to, we want to get rid of 10 also. So multiply by 30, which, which will be the LCM. Multiply by 30, 10, 10, 10, 3, 3, 3 is a 9, 9x, 15 to the 2y equals 30. So this is the final equation. This one is question number 13. Find the equations of the straight line, each of which passes through the point 3, comma 2 and cut off intercepts A and B respectively on X and Y axis such that A minus B equals 2. So it's being clear very well that A minus B equals 2. So we have a relationship between A and B. You can always write A as B plus 2 or B as A minus 2. Why have to we have to find out the equations of the line. So there will be multiple lines. To be precise, it will be two lines. Now the line is passing through 3 comma 2. So let us say equation of the line with intercept A and B as X by A plus Y by B equals 1. Now put 3 and 2 because this 3, 3 comma 2 is lying on this line. So 3 by A plus 2 by B equals 1. Now in this there is a relationship. There is an intercept A and B has a relation. As given in the question A minus B equals 2. So A becomes, becomes equal to B plus 2. Now put here 3 by B plus 2 plus 2 by b equals 1. Now this will form a quadratic equation. I hope you'll be able to solve it. The b will come as 4 and minus 1. I'm damn sure you are going to do this quadratic equation. But what will be the later steps? b is 4, so a is 6. Now b is minus 1, b is y minus 1. So you get what? a will be what? a will be minus 1 plus 2. Now this a becomes 1. So now you have first equation, here you take a as 6, b as 4. Second equation, you take a as 1, b as minus 1. So one, let us take 1 and minus 1. x by 1 plus y by minus 1 equals 1, x minus y equals 1. Second equation, here you are going to take a as 6, b as 4. So x by 6 plus y by 4 equals 1. This x by 1 plus y by minus 1 equals 1, you can easily solve. x minus y equals 1. Coming to this x by 6 plus y by 4, multiply both sides by 12. So 12, 2x plus 3y equals 12. 14th question. Find the equation of the straight lines which pass through the origin and trisect the portion of the straight line 2x plus 3y equals 6 which is intercepted between the axes. This question we have done already. That is a line, a line which is being trisected by two lines which is coming from the origin. But we will take, take a look here also. So the question is like this, there is a line, original line. This original line, the equation is given as 2x plus 3y equals 6. This is your original line. Now this line intersect at the two points. What will be the points? These two points put y equals 0, you will get x coordinate. 2x equals 6, x, x equals 2, 3 is a 3. So you have 0, uh, this 3 and 0. This is your x coordinate. Coming to the y coordinate, put x equals 0. So at the PB point, put x equals 0, you get 3y equals 6, y will be 3, 2 is a 6, so y equals 2. So this will be 0, comma 2. So now you got the two points. And there are the question is there are two lines. One and they are trisecting it. So this will be one line, this is another line, and it is trisecting, so equal part they are. So, in the first case, you are taking x1, y1 as 3, 0 and x2, y2, you are going to take 0, 0 and 2. x1, y1, 3, 0, x2, y2, 0, 2. Now, m and n. For the first line, m and n. Second line, m and n. In the first case, say this, any line you can take. So, I am taking this line now. So, these are three portions. 1, 1, 1. Trisecting. Tri means 3. So this is two part, this is one part. Two part, one part. 
So M and N will be like this. So what will be there? M equals 2, N equals 1 in this case. In the second case, the second case will be it is now 2 up, 1 down. M here you are going to take 1, N as 2. Section formula you know for the first one. And x1, y1, x2, y2 remains the same for both the lines. So first line will be, this is 0, 2, this is 3, 0. And this, this will be 3, 0 and 0, 2. So 2 into 3 plus 1 into 0, this is the first one by 2 plus 3. Then uh, 2 into 0 plus 1 into 2 by 2 plus 1, 3. So you get two points for this line. 2 comma 2 by 3. This is the point. 2 comma 2 by 3. Coming to the other line. So 2 into 0 plus 1 into 3 by 2 plus 1. This is the, this is 1. And uh, you have 1 into 0 plus 2 into 2 by 2 plus 1, 3. So it is 4 by 3. So we have two points. The first point, second point, we got it. So these are the points. So let me just write the point here. This is, this one is 2 and 2 by 3, 2 comma 2 by 3 and this point is 1 comma 5 by 3, 4 by 3. So line is equal, line equation is y equals mx plus c. Since this line is passing through the origin, it will be c is 0. So y equals mx, y equals mx. So we have 1 comma 4 by 3, slope is simply y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1. So 4 by 3 minus 0 by 1 minus 0 so it will be 4 by 3 so the slope of the one line one line is y equals 4 by 3x this is one of the line so this is one of the line 3y equals 4x so 3y minus 4x equals 0 or 4x minus 3y equals to 0 whichever way you like this is the first equation now the second equation what is m 0 0 is there y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1, 2 by 3 minus 0 by 2 minus 0. So do you get 2 minus 0? 2 by 3 by 2, 2 2 gets cancelled, it will be 1 by 3, 1 by 3. And this will be y equals c is 0 again. So y is mx, m is 1 by 3x, so 3y equals x or you can say x minus 3y equals 0. x minus 3y equals 0. So this is the another equation. These are the two equations. This one is question number 15. Find the equation of the straight line passing through the point 2 comma 1 and bisecting the portion of the straight line 3x minus 5 equals 15 lying between the axes. So this line, I don't know where it is. I'm just giving you an andaza under, for understanding. 3x minus 5 equals 15. And there is a midpoint. There is a, there is a line which is, which, is a line pass, which is coming through 2, 1. And this line is bisecting it. So that, let us say it is L1. This is as L2. So 3x minus 5y equals 15. What are the coordinate points it is making? Make y equals to 0. x will be 3x equals 15. x equals 15 by 3, 3 panje 5, x equals 5. So you have 5 comma 0. And the other case, you want y coordinate, put x equals 0, minus 5 equals 15, 5 this is 15. y equals minus 3. So this will be minus 3, 0 minus 3. And please remember 0 minus 3 will never come here. It will go, it will go in the negative x in the negative y axis. So now this is 5 by 2. And then just take the take the midpoint because we know. We know the midpoint formula 0 plus 5 by 2 and minus 3 plus 0 by 2. So these are the two points. So we have a line which is which is uh, passing through 2, 11 uh, and 5 by 2 and minus 3. So you can always find uh, the equation. But there is another method also. There is another method I am going to tell you. See, this you can do. There are two points. You can make a line. You can find out the equation of the line. Now, what will be the other method? Since this 5, 5 by 2 and minus 3 by 2 lie on this line, x by a plus y by b equals 1. So, in the place of x, put 5 by 2. In place of uh, uh, y, put 3 by 2. 
So this is one equation phi by 2a minus 3 by 2b equals 1. So you can try to resolve it. You can take 1 by a as x, 1 by b equals y just to solve it. You can do it in your way. I'm just saying it will be always a good idea to take this. 5 by 2x minus 3 by 2y equals 1. So 5x minus 2y multiply both sides by 2, 5x minus 3y equals 2. Now 2 1 is also 2. So this 2 1 is also lying on this line. The question uh, 2 I made 2 1 may I make it made it somewhere else. But the question is saying a line is passing through 2 1. Okay. So put this this 2 1 also. Okay, 2, 2, 1 is lying on this line, which is which we just made. So this line, I am putting in the same line, 2 and 3. So this, there are two equations, solve it. When you solve this two equation, you get x as, x as 5 by 11, you took it as 1 by a. So a will be 11 by 5. Now put this a 11 by 5 in any of these equation, 2 by a plus 1 by b equals 1. So if I am putting it here, 2 by a, 11 by 5, 5 goes up plus 1 by b equals 1. So you get b equals, you, you solve it, b will be, it will be 11. So b, a we put, v, e, a we have to put 11 by 5, okay. Then you get this one. So you get a as 11 by 5, b as 11, put it here. So this goes up and now we have 5x plus b multiplying by 11. 5x plus y equals 11 and this is your equation 5x plus y equals 11. So there are two methods. This is not the only method. You can use the two points try to solve it or the other method which I just, just told you. Okay, so there are two methods. You can choose either of this. Either of the way 5x plus y equals 1 will come. Right? Now this is question number 16. Find the equation of the line which passes through the point 3 comma 4 and is such that the portion of it intercepted between the axis is divided by the point in the ratio 2 is to 3. Same exactly same thing is given we have a line. There is a line and there is a point 3 comma 4 and dividing it into 2 is to 3. So m you are going to m is 2 n is 3. This point will be, this is a0, this is 0b, and this will be x1, y1, this will be x2, y2, and this point is 3, 4. This is given as 3, 4. Use the section formula, 3 into a plus 2 into 0 by 2 plus 3, that is m plus n is equal to 3 by section formula. So you have this one. Now 4 is 2 into b plus 3 into 0 by 2 plus 3. So m plus n. So a is 5 and b is 10. Put it here. x by 5 plus y by 10 equals 1. Multiply both sides by 10. You will get 2x plus y equals 10. So multiply by 10. 2x plus y equals 10. This question we have already done. So I just did it quite really fast. Question number 17. Find the equation of the straight line passing through the origin and bisecting the portion of the line ax plus by plus c equals 0 intercepted between the coordinate axes. So there is a line. Now this uh, is ax plus b plus c equals 0. This can be anywhere. This line can be anywhere. I am just trying to tell you for understanding. Now there is a line which is going through the origin. It is bisecting it. So L2 we have to find out. L1 we know it is bisecting. So this is 0, 0. What are the points here? This, these two points we already know because ax plus by plus c equals 0. We have to put x as 0 or y and 0. So x equals 0, you get by plus c equals 0, y will be minus c by b. So this will be, now put now y equals 0. y equals 0 means ax plus c equals 0, x will be minus c by a. So now you have the coordinates x and y intercept basically. So this will be minus c by a and 0. These are the coordinate point and this will be 0 comma minus c by b. So since it is a midpoint, take this x1 plus x2 by 2. So 0 plus minus c by a by 2. And then we have minus c by 2 plus 0 by 2. 
so zero plus this is minus c by two plus zero by two. So this is minus c by two c by two a and minus c by two b. So this is the point. Now now a line which is passing through the origin and it is it is passing through minus c by two a minus c by two b. Y equals m x plus c. It is going to origin, so c will be zero. So y equals to m x. You just want to find m. So in 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 this, put y as y and x. So I am putting x as minus c by two a and and y as minus c by two a, two b. So you get m as a m as a by b. Minus c by two minus c by two gets cancelled. M will be equal to a by b. So now put it here. This equals y equals a by b x, b y equals a x, a equals a x minus b y equals zero. So this is the equation. Question number eighteen: Find the equation of the straight line which cuts off equal positive intercepts on the axis, and their product is twenty-five. Their product is twenty-five. Now these two portions are equal. The intercept, the equation of the line with intercept. Intercept A and B is x by A plus y by B equals one. If this A is also A and B is also A, and multiplication of this two A A A into A is twenty five. Multiplication of the intercepts. So A square equals twenty five. A equals plus minus five. So negative you cannot take, you know, because intercept is the length. Intercept is the length. So A you are going to take as plus five. So B will will also be be five because A and B are equal. So it will be x by five plus y by five equals one. Multiply both sides by five. X plus y equals five, and this is the final equation. So this is all about this exercise. Thank you so much, and take care of yourself.